There comes Sean. Yeah, Sean steel. What's he gonna do? Well, he's got the ref shirt. He's kind of putting the ropes of the ring. Well, he seems to be you seriously know, thinking. Tonight I've heard a couple things. I've heard my brother, my brother Paul Steele come out here and speak his opinion of the truth. Then I heard James Blackwell come out here and speak his opinion of the truth. More or less an out of character promo. Who better to top that than Sean Steele? <coughs> you see, two years ago I caught a shoot. Jimmy would you? I'm not afraid to call out anybody. I'm not afraid to say things that might piss others off. For beginners, <laughs> let's start with this baby right here. See? For a good 10 years, as Paul Steele mentioned before, he wrestled on a tarp. We've wrestled in Belpery. We've wrestled two places in Belpery. Hell, we've wrestled out here. As a matter of fact, God damn it, you know, in Ripley, or Ravenswood, West Virginia, me and James Blackwell filled a promo on a playground and almost got arrested. True. Paul still came to me and said he wanted to start a wrestling promotion. We we're both fans. I had just gotten out of the NWA. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to give back to everybody who had given to me. So we started wrestling on a tarp with cardboard and padding underneath. As what the pros would call it, backyard wrestling. A very frowned upon term. But see, everybody else in the Indies? Oh, I used to be in the Indies. Frowned upon term, backyard wrestling. You see, folks, HPW has me portray a heel, a bad guy. I come out here, my sole intent to piss all of you off, make you hate me. Make you want me to lose. Make you boo me. This isn't the heel form of Sean Steele. This is the guy behind Sean Steele. This is the guy that comes out here every month and wants to get every one of you guys out here to do something, react to something, make you want to come back, make you want to come from far and beyond, a couple of hours away, five minutes away, to watch what we do. Do we have a script for him? Yeah, we do. Do we know who's going to win every single match performed no. in this ring? Yeah, we do. But there's a passion inside of us, each and every one of us. I've been in the independent wrestling promotion. I have been in the backstage locker room. I've heard guys talk about everything from A to Z. Was it about wrestling? No. It was not about wrestling. It was about other things. It was about playing Xbox or PS3. Watching TV, their favorite drama. You know, when I go to a wrestling show, the last thing I want to hear about is CSI crime scene. I could care less. If I wanted to watch it, I've got a DVR. Yes, I have DVR. I would DVR and watch the show after the show that I'm wrestling in. I wouldn't talk about it at a show because I have passion. A lot of passion. You know, we have worked our butts off writing scripts and storylines for everybody 
to watch and fall in love with HPW. The problem with that, believe it or not, Hawking Port, Ohio, BFE, the middle of freaking nowhere. You walk down the road, I guarantee you're going to see a redneck on a tractor spitting out juice tobacco. Promise you. Or else he's going to be sitting there smoking those cigarettes that you roll up. Promise you. Nobody out here has money. We ain't rich. We're poor. But if you watch WWE, two years ago, I pulled a shoot. I called out a lot of people. I did a lot of things to piss people off for a reason. And guess what? Two months later, Sam Punk on WWE Monday Night Raw pulled a shoot. Coincidence? Maybe so, I don't know. And a few months ago when I started the stable reality, I figured, what the heck? Let's quit saying that's a promise. Let's keep in character. Let's say, that's, a, that's reality, folks. That's all it is. AJ Lee decided to come out and talk about Total Divas. The newest oh, drama show they have for WWE. Good job, Vince, but guess what? It sucks. No, I will not watch it. And by the way, I have your phone number. Because I applied for a promoter's license, and it gave me every promoter in the United States' phone number. I have yours, bitch. Guess what? I won't be wasting my time calling your ass, because I come up with my own ideas. But AJ Lee decided to finish her shoot with... And that's reality! Or however her voice sounds. Boy, I wonder he used that just a, a month earlier and put it on YouTube. That's right, Sean still used it. But that's fine. See, I love seeing my creativity on USA Network. That's cool. I love seeing WWE try to go in the same direction as HPW. Because it just lets me know that, hey, we're going in the right direction. Yeah, we're backyard. Our locker room's a freaking trailer. But guess what? Unlike every single independent promotion in this area, let's look here. The NWA, out of business. The MWA, who I've also wrestled for, out of business. NWA Ohio, which is based out of Coshocton, Ohio, out of business. Every wrestling promotion in West Virginia alone is a new upstart for a freaking movie. Except for HPW, which is located in a little hawking, well, actually, hawking port, Coolville, depends on the zip code, I don't know. Ohio. Well, it could be taken two ways. I come out here for each and every one of you guys, whether I'm a bad guy or a good guy. I love each and every one of you, no matter how freaking hard I come out and try to piss you off. You guys, other than my wife and kids, are my life. I've been in this business damn near 20 years, and I live for each and every one of you every freaking month. When I see what we're supposed to do when we come out here, I want to give the freaking match of a lifetime. I want to come out here and piss you off, make you happy, do whatever it takes to get you off your feet or chanting something. If it's you suck, it's you suck. If it's match of a great time, it's match of a lifetime. I don't care. That's my job. That's what I love to do. That's what I love to do. The NWA, the MWA, South Carolina Wrestling, which is located in Dorton Arena in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's a freaking weird arena shaped like this where I came and sold out 20,000 seats once a month. This is what I do. I'm not a pipe fitter. I don't have a college degree. I tried going there. Had a 3.8 grade point average. Then I went through a divorce. And I quit going there. This is what I do. I come off the top rope. I take bump after freaking bump. So everybody out there who wants to sit there and say that backyard wrestling sucks, Look how many hits we have on YouTube. Look how many people ask about this. I would have had co-workers here tonight to watch me come out and cut this promo, cut this out-of-character shoot. But they had very things they had to do, which I understand. This is everything. The part
part that makes me even more mad is we have a freaking ring for the first time. I haven't wrestled in a ring for damn near 10 years. I retired. I quit the indies because of politics. I wanted something that had passion involved. I wanted people who didn't care about who they were or how big they looked. I didn't, I didn't want to work Arnold Schwarzenegger or a guy built like him. I wanted to work a guy who had talent, who could get in here and put a five-star match on with me. But I'm five foot eight. I'm 185 pounds. I can't come out here and look like Dave Batista or Triple H, or John Cena. I don't have overpowering muscles, but God damn it, I can tell you what, I can make a match look damn good. I can come out and work my ass off like nobody else. I can make you boo me, I can make you hate me, and I can make you cheer for me, because I have the passion to do that. I got out of the independent business because of that fact. I got tired of cold cash. I got tired of Vince Desmond sitting there saying, well, we've been here a little bit longer, so we deserve to be in a man of it. Fuck you. Where you at now? You're working at Pet Shop up in Marietta running a remix pro wrestling. Well, guess what, bitch? You don't even wrestle. You promote the damn organization through a pet, through a pet store. What else do you do? Sit there and do this? Probably. Because last time I was in your bedroom watching a show for uh, whatever promotion you were at the time in St. Mary's, you had posters of rappers all around your bedroom. But now you're promoting Mickey James in a main event. Ooh. Oh. God, I want to pay the $15 to come and see her wrestle a match. Whatever. You just said she can come and help you jerk the gherkin. That's you want. Yeah, nothing in co oh, cold cash. This might piss you off a little bit. Come on out to Hawking Point. I have a whole roster in here who hates your guts and will probably pound your ass in a second. You might like it. Okay, I'm lying. A huge bit. You might, you might really like it. And Vance Desmond, since you start shooting up steroids and thinking you're going to work for TNA, where the fuck are you now? Nowhere. I ain't seen your ass in for ages. Nor do I care. And Blade! Oh, God! Oh, wait, hold on. That's all you get, Blade. You think you're the god of wrestling. But after every big spot you do, you cry because your back hurts. I am so, so, so not sorry. That's the people I used to run with. And JC Sickness was one of them. And guess what, J.C. Sickness is in HPW. He just had a hell of a match with Deucalion. That's the independent wrestling promotions we have in this area. Guess who's still standing? Higher Passion Wrestling. Why? Because we bust our ass. We may not have the best talent who can do like 360s off the top rope. Yet. Key road right yet. We have guys back there who have passion who want to come out here and bust their ass. And tonight, Jesus Christ, I would love to be working the main event, but here's facts for you guys, every single one of you. A month ago, y'all came out here and saw me job to Mustafa Akkad. I lost to him. Sorry for the speaker problem. It's not like the computer just farted, but it was just the speaker. Here's, here's the truth. Last month against Mustafa Khan, pure accident. Mustafa, I love you to death. You have come so far in like the five years we've been doing this. Last month, I tore ligaments in my foot. I'm still not 98% healthy for this match. No, HPW doctors, Dayton Clarence, we don't have doctors. Yeah, you do. Yourself. I went to physical practices in Marietta, Ohio. And they told me what happened. I would love more than anything in this whole entire world to come out here and work the main event. I would love to wrestle tonight. But I have a job outside of HPW that I have to go to work on Wednesday. I took three days off for vacation. Sorry. Thank I have to you. go back to work on Wednesday. I can't risk this.
that I don't get paid for at HPW to work my job. I would love to come out for each and every one of you and put on a five-star match. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen. I have to come out here and cut a promo and tell you how I really feel since James Blackwell and Paul still come out and told you how they felt. We may not be WWE. We may not be NWA Tri-State, which no longer exists. Hey, Rich, how's jail? Since you were selling Oxycontin to a minor in Florida. Oh, did I just say that? Oops. You're like the most overweight, obese promoter I've ever met. Who's so full of shit, I better not say anything else. I'm done. Is his eyes brown? I don't know. I'm colorblind, in all honesty. But, folks, here's the truth. I've been speaking the truth to each and every one of you for the past turn alone I've been talking. I've lost count. Well, about 15 minutes or so. <laughs> I love each and every one of you coming out here. This is what we do. This is what everybody in the back does. This is what we do. It runs through our blood. I go to sleep at night thinking of moves in this ring. I go to sleep at night thinking, how can I get people at the next show to stand on their feet? How can I go to the next show and cut a promo to make y'all mad or make y'all happy? I love this business. I love HPW. I love what we have accomplished. And thank God to a guy in the back who bought a ring his favorite $3,000 for us to have this. For all of you. They come out here and give you a great show. So I have to ask you guys, do you love this? I don't want to hear the crickets in the woods. I want to hear you all. Do you all love this? Yeah. 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 Woo! Oh, my Chris Cage's music is starting, and y'all didn't give me a great response, which I understand, because you're probably still thinking, what the hell is he talking about? Tonight, guess what? I get to be a zebra. I knew he was uh, carrying the shirt for a reason. I'm going to be a Mustafa Akkad in Chris Cage's World Championship match. You break a little more kayfabe? I love y'all, but now it's time to go back to being a dick. So get the damn camera off of me. Um.